Hi, it's Rick. Today I wanted to do a blacksmithing video, and I wanted to use my coal forge to do it. Now, you may have seen in some of my other videos that I have a gas forge, and I use that for a lot of things, but I find that the coal forge is better for certain things. Anyway, the problem is I went out to use it, and my blower had died. Now, I don't have another blower laying around, and I don't have the wherewithal right now to run out and get one, so I started thinking, what could I do to make a blower? And the idea came to me to use compressed air. I have compressed air in the shop already, and I don't know if anybody's ever tried it before, but I'm going to give it a shot, and here's how I hope to do it. So, like a lot of other guys, I have a brake drum forge with a one and a half inch steel pipe two year. So what I have here is a one and a half inch uh, black pipe cap. You don't want the galvanized type, you want just the plain iron. And the first thing I need to do is to drill a hole in it to accept the end of a standard compressed air fitting. Unfortunately, half inch was the biggest drill I had, which is almost right, but not quite. So I'm just going to file it out a little bit by hand. Well, I had bought a nut to put on the other side of this and tighten it up, but that's jammed in there so much that I don't think it's ever coming out, so I'm going to use it like that. Okay, so this is my two-year. It comes in and goes up. and I th I'm hoping that that's going to help me, so I'm going to screw this onto the two-year. Connecting air holes to it. This is not connected to anything yet. And I said I'm hoping that's going to help me because the air will come in somewhat pressurized, even though I'm going to have a regulator on it. And I'm hoping that when it hits the back end here, it kind of swirls up to come out the top. So we'll see. So let's get this other end hooked up. So this is my air regulator. I had this anyway because I use it with my paint spray gun and if you don't have one of these you don't even want to try to attempt this because the air will just come out full blast it'll blow your coals all over the place and empty the compressor within seconds probably but I'm going to hook this is air from the air compressor in this side and I have this turned all the way down and this is the hose that goes to the two year connect that here and I'll slowly turn it up and we'll see what happens. So this is my forge and although of course you can't see anything there is air coming through. You can probably hear it. And I barely have this on. It's only a couple of pounds, if that, of air coming through there. So I'm going to build a fire and we'll check it out.
So as you can see, I have a decent coke fire going there. You can probably hear the air coming through. It takes a little less even to maintain it. And if you look at the gauge over here, you probably can't see it very well, but it's not even really registering on the gauge at all. The compressor fires up maybe once every four or five minutes for a few minutes and closes back down so it's not working it too hard. So next I'll just heat up a piece of rebar and try it out. So once again, here's the piece I manufactured, and it just so happens that I didn't have a big enough drill. I used a half inch drill, and my trying to force it through jammed it in there enough so I didn't have to use the, the nut on it, but that's probably the better way to go. If you have a 9 16 probably drill, you could drill it out, put it right through, put a nut on it. I wouldn't rely on the um, drive it in and hope that it works method. So how did it work? I think it worked fine. The compressor didn't cycle all that often. Um, it didn't use that much air. Um, obviously, your forge could be different. You may need more air or less air than I used. But all in all, I would say that it worked fine. It's a viable way to get air into your forge. If you have a compressor that's away from where you're doing the work, then it would even be quiet. I didn't have that luxury. Every time the compressor came on, I had to put up with the noise. But all in all, I would say it was a success and it worked fine. The only way I'm going to know for sure is to try it out in an actual project. And I'll be doing that within the next couple of days. Now again, I, I want to reiterate that you could not do this without the regulator. It, it, there was almost no air going through that regulator. It was, wasn't even registering on the um, gauge that I have. And if you had that thing going full bore, you would just have an explosion of coal out of your forge. And it would drain the tank in a few seconds and it, and it would never work. So. So I can verify that it does work, and I'm going to try it on my next project and see how I like it. If you like my videos, please subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.